Bonsoir tout le monde, bienvenue, comment ça va Hé, hey, oh What No, what What are you doing I'm doing the show. No, you, you're doing my show, you're copying me No, ridiculous. C'est bizarre. Really I put it to you, Arthur, if that's really your name, which is not, it's Jacques. Let's look at the title sequence of your show, which airs in France, and the title sequence of my show, which airs in the good old US of A. And, yeah. And let's just see. Let's just see if they're the same. Look at this. See? <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> that was not a copy. It was an homage. <laughs> uh, a tribute to your abilities. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Well, well, what about this morning then when I saw you walking my dog? <laughs> also a tribute to your unique talents. And, 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 and your dog really need a bass, huh? <laughs> Last night when I caught you kissing my wife. Another tribute to you. Uh, <laughs> by the way, your wife also really need a bath. <laughs> you're, you're just copying everything I do. You're just copying everything I do. No, oh, no, not this old trick. Oh, no, not this old trick. <laughs> This is so juvenile, repeating everything I say. No, it's you who, re who are repeating everything I say. <laughs> and it's not easy with my... Uh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as you say, my show airs in France. Right. So nine time zone ahead of Los Angeles. To be able to repeat what I say, you must be some kind of psychic. <laughs> Possibly a witch, uh, a sorcier, uh, a kind of like an old gay Harry Potter. How dare you! I propose that we burn you to rid ourselves of you and your witchcraft. <laughs> You're good. You're very good. Wait. <laughs> this isn't over. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Sponsored by Dell. The power to do more. More at Dell.com. something that you meant <laughs> and not some kind of passive-aggressive hurry up you bastard so we can get out of here <laughs> come on hurry up <laughs> we didn't want to see you we just didn't get into the prices right 
I actually walked by the line going into the Price is Right today, and everybody goes, don't look at him, you have to go and see his show if you look at him. <laughs> Guess what, everybody? And disappointed people in here. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. I had, a, I had a lovely holiday weekend. Did you have a nice holiday weekend? I'm sure. Yeah. No, it's a rhetorical question. Don't, I don't. Uh, yeah, I did, actually, until now. <laughs> I'm sure you're already missing your loved ones. And by loved ones, I mean the TSA guys who give you the pat down. <laughs> I'm going back even though I don't need to travel. <laughs> There's something about a surly, unpleasant person wearing blue latex gloves that turns me on. Love it. You bet I do. Over the weekend, President Obama needed to get 12 stitches. He took an elbow to the mouth during a basketball game, but he learned a valuable lesson. Do not get in the way of Hillary Clinton's tomahawk jam. <laughs> Have you been following the WikiLeaks thing? You know, the WikiLeaks brouhaha? I don't know if the, uh, uh, the WikiLeaks website thing. It's a website that gets hold of the classic, uh, classified information and releases it to the public. Uh, they get all kinds of top secret stuff, the White House memos, government emails, the truth about Lady, Lady Gaga. Lady, you know, the lady. <laughs> lady Gaga. The, the truth about... Apparently there's meat under the dress too. Is that code? Code for penis? Uh oh. Uh oh, is right. <laughs> By the way, Code for Penis is the name of the James Bond porn parody I'm working on. <laughs> code for penis. Over the weekend, though, the WikiLeaks started to release 250,000 documents from the State Department. The government's up in arm about the WikiLeaks. <laughs> It's a stupid name, WikiLeaks, though, isn't it? It doesn't sound like espionage. It sounds like Barbara Walters interviewing Ricky Martin or something like that. You know, like, when wiki quies, wiki weeks, wheel tears. Please. Don't applaud. It's not as good as Plinko. I know. You just nodded when I said it's not as good as Plinko. Anyway, I'm talking about the WikiLeaks. The, the leaked documents, it's, it, most of it is just stuff sent between offices. It's inter off of gossip, you know, the kind that you email about co-workers. <laughs> Little jokes about your boss, pictures of kitty cats hanging off branches, <laughs> text photographs of your genitals. <laughs> By the way, CBS cares. Never send, <laughs> never send pictures of your genitals to a co-worker. <laughs> send them to me! My email address is Andy Rooney at the internet dot <laughs> slash Google CBS dot com. That's right. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah. He would as well. You wait to see 60 Minutes on Sunday. Don't you hate it when you get unsolicited photographs of genitals? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Anyway, now WikiLeaks is... They, 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 they've done some good in the past, but I don't know if this latest release helps anyone. I mean, some of this stuff should stay secret. By the way, if you really want to keep something very secret, give it to the CBS publicity department. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> they've got a wealth of information of stuff no one will ever know about, like the show, for example. <laughs> perhaps the humanitarian work of Charlie Sheen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh. <laughs> Put the hooker in the closet. <laughs> anyway, here's what the diplomats need to understand. If you write something down, it's there forever. You need to find ways to conceal information. The, perhaps the old ways, like invisible ink or talking in code, like they did in the spy movies. You know, the... The dog howls at the blue tree. <laughs> the bananas are best worn at midnight. <laughs> Conversations that make no sense. It's kind of like talking to Regis. <laughs> He's on this week, Regis, isn't he? He's on the show this week. That'll be like everything being in code. <laughs> I love it when Regis does my accent to me. It's awesome. 
Because sometimes I forget about my accent, but he reminds me. <laughs> by saying, Liam Neeson! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, you? Anyway, what I'm talking, I'm talking about the WikiLeaks. So the espionage, nowadays, it's all on computers. I miss the old school espionage, you know. No one wears disguises anymore. You don't have to wear a disguise if you're just going on the internet. Although I do wear a fake moustache when I go on chat roulette. <laughs> Not on my face. <laughs> Now, that you may applaud. <laughs> that is as good as Plinko. <laughs> in the old days, though, uh, to find out information, somebody had to go through the garbage. You couldn't just go in there. You had to go through someone's garbage. You don't, that's another thing nobody does anymore except me. <laughs> Only because I live near Kira Knightley. <laughs> she throws away all the food. It's delicious. <laughs> Anyway, thanks to all the WikiLeaks nonsense, the State Department has hopefully learned to be more careful. After all, it was one of our guys who leaked this stuff onto the website. Seems like every spy agency has got their own moles. <laughs> I could run a spy agency because I've got something better than moles. Ferrets. <laughs> hey! Top that! Yeah, you're right. Do we have a picture of me with my ferrets? Ah, good times. <laughs> it's commercial break time now, I think. Let's say hi to CBS sponsors. <laughs> In your pants. Only if it helps sell the product. Do you, know what I, do you know what I got? I got to tell you about this, Jeff. On the, on the Twitter, I'm on the Tweety Box, and then I go on Twitter, and... <laughs> there's been about like eight or nine people said, hey, you've got to fire the robot. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I blocked them. <laughs> That's right. I blocked you, robot haters. <laughs> I can't... What? Exactly! We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. as good as Plinko. <sighs> Can't stop thinking about that French dude. He's dreamy. Ooh la la. Yeah, Splash. you're right, you're right. Yeah. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? To tweet or not to tweet? <laughs> Tour. What a surprise! I wasn't expecting to see you. <laughs> Voila. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to do the emails. I, am, for example, am America's beloved foreign entertainer, and don't you forget it. <laughs> do you have the emails on your show? Uh, not yet. We don't have enough uh, audience to get emails. <laughs> it's a tiny show and a no, tiny no, no. cabal. No, no, no. What you do is write them yourself. <laughs> 
then you know what they're going to be. We used to do that. Now we don't anymore. We actually don't, you know. We, I was doing the, do you mind doing the emails with yes, me? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, right, well, look at this. This is from Marie in Paris, France. Ah. <laughs> is that adorable? Do you, do you know her, Marie? I know Marie. Yeah. I'll we bet you do, <laughs> you rascal. I've got a present for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it Marie? No. Uh, this is... Oh, this is... Wow! <laughs> this is so... Thank you so much. That's, this is very nice of you. Uh, you know when, uh, when you guys gave us uh, the Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Yeah, something like that would have been nice. <laughs> but this is good for now. Yeah. That's great. I'll put it right here next to my tar. This is like a little corner of Europe over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Um... This is from Marie in Paris, France. She says, bonjour, Craig. That means hello, Hello, Craig. Yeah, right. Craig. She says, don't be mad at French people. Uh, what you took for plagiarism is actually a French way to express admiration. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't finish the, the sentence. Yes, I know. <laughs> she said, why don't you come to France and do a show here? You should, you will have much success. I would like to invite you to do a show in France. I, excuse me, don't ooh. <laughs> I would love to do a show in France, Artur. Unfortunately, I work for the CBS Corporation and we can't afford to send me to France. <laughs> because I checked. And apparently, all the money is being spent on CSI and Andy ooh -la -la. Rooney. <laughs> all right. Do you. All right. Do you have Andy Rooney in France? No, no we've got CSI. Okay. <laughs> Much the same. Uh, this is... Uh, 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 uh. This is from Irene in Los Angeles in California. Do you know, do you, do you know Irene? Not yet. <laughs> You're a charming bastard, aren't you? <laughs> you charming bastard. You just charm me. I'm not even gay and I do you. Is that code? <laughs> no, nope, that's right on the nose, Jeff. I was telling him like it is. I'm like Dr. Phil, but not a doctor as well. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right, uh, Irene in Los Angeles says, Dear Craig, can you get... And, and Arthur, she probably means yeah. to. Can you get my boyfriend to move over here from Ireland and marry me? How would you get someone to move from another country and marry you? <laughs> I don't know. And you? I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be... Have you ever met any Irish dudes? No. You don't want to be married to them. I mean, they're, 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 they're handy in a bar fight, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> and, and some of them can write about... Some of them are very good writers, but I wouldn't want to be married. Would you ever marry a dude? If you were gay, would you marry a dude? Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Not, not yet. Not yet, no. Not yet. no. Yeah. no. Still, I'm not sure. Yeah, let, yeah. Me, let, let me see. You're what we it. call in America bi curious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think, I think the French press are going to enjoy that, Arthur. Yeah, yeah. Oh, French press. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. You like this? It's kind of an existential question. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Um, this is from Kate in Chestertown in Maryland. You ever been to Maryland? N not yet. <laughs> I got crabs there once. They're delicious. In your pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feeling different about that trip to America now, are you, yeah, mate? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, Kate in Chesterton says, uh, what's the difference between self-aware and self-absorbed? Ah. What do you think about it? Um, well, I think... I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm too self-absorbed. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, this is from Ali in North Carolina. Do you know... Do you know anyone? No, you haven't been there, have Not you? Not yet. No, okay. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Dear Craig and Artur, um, what do you think the secret to happiness is? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm feeling a bit upset. <laughs> I just... 
I got a little kind of thing in my throat and I thought I'd work with it rather than yeah. rather than just go, oh, excuse me, I thought, oh, oh be upset like that. Yeah. Do you ever do that? Do you ever pretend to be upset and you're not really upset? For example, like what I did last week? No. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? Oh, boy, what do you think the secret of happiness is? Cash? No. For me, uh, the secret of happiness today mm. is to be on your show. It's a French compliment. Yeah, no, it's a French, French compliment. compliment. All right. So here we go, then. I usually I give out dollars, but we've got some euros here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What's that, like half a million bucks right there? <laughs> right now? Something like that? Yeah. yeah. That's an American dollar, buddy. You can spend that anywhere in the world. This is exa exactly the same value. That? Five euro is one dollar. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, listen, we're, we have to get moving on. Uh, do you want to uh, blow on a mouth organ? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> what, what kind of song do you want? Uh, I don't know. You know any French songs? Uh, yeah. La Vie en Rose? That's my favorite. <laughs> From Edith Piaf. Right, Edith Piaf. Edith she was Piaf. hilarious, wasn't she, Edith oh. Piaf? I tell you, every time I hear her sing, I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Edith, you're hysterical. <laughs> she is. She was like a little funny thing. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, it's not as good as Plinko. <laughs> Bienvenue, mes amis. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a giant movie star. He's an, also an actor and a movie star. Unusual, but it happens. <laughs> He's in a new film called Tron Legacy, which is in theaters December the 17th. Take a look at this. Wow. <laughs> Please welcome Michael Sheen, everybody. Michael Sheen. Hello. Michael, you're better than Plinko. <laughs> it's good to see. That wow. looks amazing, that film. You look uh, like, that looks to me like Bridget Nielsen becomes David Bowie. C'est très joli. You French bastard. <laughs> you're charming, aren't you? Were you looking at my Eiffel Tower? I'm always looking yeah. at my Eiffel Tower. Not a day goes by. I know. But I Is don't that pine. Code? <laughs> yes. Yeah, for his, yeah, it's code for, for penis. his penis. Yeah, code yeah. for penis. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen that porn parody I'm working on? <laughs> I have. Code I've seen the porn parrot you've been working on. Oh, for yeah, yeah. Feathery Bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feathery Bastard 3. Yeah. How are you then? You're right. I'm very well, thank this you. This film looks good. good. I, you know, I don't know anything about Tron. I didn't see the first one either. I was. <laughs> <laughs> It came out in the 80s, didn't it? it came, I was 12, so you would have been, what, about... 40? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know whether to go for the nasty thing and yeah. say you were about 20. No, go... Or be nice and say you were about four. No, I, I was... I, well, what, what year did it come out? Uh, you were 12. Yeah. So it so would have been... 79, 82. 82. I was 20. 83, something like that. 21. Yeah. My, I was... <laughs> It was, uh, I remember, it was a grey, rainy day in South Wales. Let me take you it's back there, It's always a grey, rainy day in <laughs> exactly. South Wales. Welcome to South Wales. What's the weather like? You la la! Know what the weather's like. It's still um, raining, yeah. isn't it, in South yeah. Wales right now? Yeah. It is. No, it's snowing. My mum and dad said that they've had, oh, yeah, like, ten foot of snow or yeah, something. Yeah, in Scotland, too. Somebody tweeted me and said, hey, we've got a ten-incher in Scotland. <laughs> That's in your pants. No. <laughs> 
I, I was going to say that's cold as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. but no, it's very cold in Wales at the moment. Oh, yeah. But I was taken uh, to see the film when I was 12. And uh, I went in, and it was, I was like at that perfect age where you're just ready to be absolutely blown away by a movie. And, uh, and Tron was the one that did it to me. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was completely off my face drunk for that entire decade, so I, I really... I was 12, but I was off my face drunk well, as well. Because yeah. it was a grey and rainy day yeah, in South Wales. Well. Yeah, Wales, yeah. Well, it, I mean, it seems it seems very nice. And uh, is it David? Is that a David Bowie There's homage? Kind of, Are you doing an homage? I was doing an homage to David Bowie's abilities. Uh, yeah. 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 No, I was. Uh, yeah. Well, the character I play is kind of he plays with identity, and he sort of you don't know quite what his agenda is, and he reinvents bi-curious? himself. He's like Definitely by curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely by curious. Right. That sounds yeah. pretty good, actually. Mm. Do, can you do David Bowie? I mean, I don't mean can you do David Bowie legally. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I think we'd have to ask David Bowie, yeah, that, yeah. wouldn't we, really? Well, you'd have to buy him dinner first or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Michael. Uh, perhaps we should have something to eat first. <laughs> That's very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Go, it's not as good as playing for. Can you do David Bowie? It's uh, kind of... Not well, really. You just you sort of, do He does this thing. I've noticed that he does this thing where he sort of pulls the sides of his mouth down and goes, yes, indeed. He does that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but that's very like your Prince Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but my Prince Charles is nothing like Prince Charles. I've made a, I've, I've carved out a mediocre career, mm. impression, you know, doing impressions of people that are nothing like the actual people. But that's what I've done as well. No. <laughs> Blair Frost. I've done, yeah, that's oh, all yeah, I do. Tony Blair, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Do you ever run into him at showbiz events? I've tried to run into him, but he always nips away from the edge of the car yeah. as I shoot past. Yeah. Are you living there now or do you live here now? I live here now. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Look at you getting all tanned and stuff. Hardly tanned. Are you going to have some uh, plastic surgery? I've had a lot of plastic surgery. Oh, really? But I've had it all done to my feet. <laughs> Which is, is not done usually in this... Uh, well, this you, there's nothing... Let, if you want to work in this town, you better have sexy feet. Yeah. Do you have sexy feet? My feet are dating Hugh Hefner right now. <laughs> Both of them? Both of them. <laughs> He's a very He's lucky a man. He's a very lucky man, yeah. <laughs> so what do you do when your feet are out there giving <laughs> massages? <laughs> have you ever been to that Playboy Mansion? I've never been there. Have oh, you been there? Yeah, I've been there, yeah. In the grotto. Yeah, in the, gr in the grotto. grotto. We actually have to use this just because we talked about it. <laughs> oh, man. It's... It's a little bit... Would you like a foot massage right uh, now? You know, I would, but I'm not going to because... <laughs> I don't trust myself. In your pants. Yeah, exactly. In your pants. <laughs> we did it better. This, uh, is, this is disgusting. This isn't sand sanitizer. No, no, it's not actually. It's spit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, the reason... Awful! Yeah. It's, it's spit, but I had a mint first, so it has a kind of... I, it, because CBS won't. You, they won't buy hand sanitizer, are you kidding me? Come on! It's like spit and vodka. <laughs> you sh... Oh, yeah. How do you know what spit and vodka feels like <laughs> on your hands? Was it that was when a, you were up at the Playboy Mansion? It was a grey and rainy day in South Wales. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. So you, maybe you should go up to that Playboy Mansion and you see it, you know, see it. What, what I've never understood is... Uh, Swahili. He, I've so never he, understood Swahili. It's a very difficult language. But So he lives there in yeah. this mansion, and has yeah, he got so. just, like, parties there every night and all these women there? Yeah, well, I think so. I think, it, I, I think he lives upstairs in a kind of apartment where he can sneak out and go for the early bird special and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and go to big, giant drugstores and a little rascal. Uh, <laughs> and... And I think what happens is parties happen below and then they bring him down from time to time and he goes, ah. And then they, it's kind of like what we do with very Jeff like Pearson. Jeff, yeah, yeah, very similar. In your pants. We have to take a break, but oh. here's, the, here's the great news. Mm -hmm. You have to do another bit of this show after the commercial. No! Yeah. No! Yeah, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. We were just talking. Uh, he's famous. With a little bit of kissing as well. But mainly talking. I got a foot massage and it was so it was so exciting I spat into my body. 
So, now, you were telling me about, about, during the break about the Tron movies in the 3D. It's in the 3D. And, uh, <laughs> and Jeff Bridges plays himself now and back in 1982. But I yeah. And then I said to you, how does he do that? And you said, oh, Benjamin Button. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? That means, that means you get Brad Pitt in to play the younger but No. Really? It means, uh, it means well, the, the, the technique that they developed, the technology they developed for Benjamin Button to make Brad Pitt kind of age backwards, right. they've kind of developed that and taken it further. And so you get to, I, spoiler alert, no, it's not a spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, everyone knows he's in the trailer, for God's sake. Right. Um, he, you get to see Jeff's character, Flynn, right. from the first film uh, in this film as well. So it involves kind of having cameras all around your head and, and, and other actors being your body and you all that just stuff. make Ooh la la! Yeah. Right. <laughs> I have no doubt. I was so drunk all the way through the film. <laughs> I have were no you, idea. Uh, now, are you very patient with all that stuff? Because I can imagine, like, all that makeup and all that stuff and all these cameras and the 3D things. And, but doesn't that just bore the arse off? You have to sit no, there for hours and then? No, it's great. It's like, um, it, like, people say, oh, what's it like to have to imagine everything going on around you and it's a green screen and all that? But it's like being a kid in your bedroom, you know, and just playing. You go, well, oh, I... <laughs> Maybe not the way you played in your bedroom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bringing back any memories. Yes, no, it is. There's a lot of this tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, I was going to put that as a subliminal message. <laughs> yeah. I was always told I'd go blind if I did too much of that. Yes, I thought that too. I actually thought the worst of it was I occasionally would go and stay over at my grandma's house and mm. she had nylon sheets on the beds in the guest oh, room. on your toenails. No, it, it was worse because when you got into them, if you were staying in the guest bedroom, and I was like 13, 14, right, staying mm. in the guest bedroom, if you're in nylon sheets and you start moving around enthusiastically, yes. you get an electric shock. I... <laughs> In I, your pants. In your pants. And I thought it, I was being punished by a bug. <laughs> you were. You were. Love it. Yeah. Do you know, I, I had a friend... <laughs> this is a terrible thing to say. I had a friend when I was growing up who um, discovered moving around excitedly, mm -hmm. as you put it, by um, doing pull-ups on the door frame of his door, of his bedroom door. He wanted to, like, you know, get strong because he was quite right. skinny. Right. So he started doing pull-ups on the door frame of his door, um, but with the door closed. And he discovered... <laughs> that boy... That boy had the biggest developed arms... Yeah. ...and a very satisfied smile on his face for most of the school. And only attracted to very flat-chested women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Very two-dimensional relationships, yeah. That's, yeah. that's very odd. Yeah, what an odd yeah. thing to do. I've never tried to have sex with a door. <laughs> Maybe now's the time. Maybe. No, I think I'm past it. You have now. a very attractive desk, though. <laughs> See, you, there you are. You're, no, don't, don't. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you fancy tonight? Um, you fancy an awkward pause or harmonica to get out of here? Oh, what do you think? Um, I'd like to try something. I'd like to try Secretariat. <gasps> oh, no, no, Secretariat. Pretty good. Thank you very much. Pretty good. You, you, you mustn't do that without telling anyone because <laughs> these guys back there were sitting playing cards. <laughs> I saw them. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, man. It's actually, it's actually Daft Punk. It's actually Daft Punk. Daft Punk? Yeah. In the uh, yeah. Well, Daft Punk do all the music for Tron. Right. But they famously, you never see their faces. They always have the, the helmets on and the whole thing. So you're saying Daft do... Punk are inside Secretariat? Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's true, Internet idiots. Those French. Oh, those French. Here, have you ever been on uh, Arthur's show in France? Uh, yes, we, we, we do a sort of co-anchor type thing. Uh, um, he, he's Arthur, and I'm Arthur too on the rocks. Why would you?
would you applaud my pain? <laughs> well, you know, it's good to know that you do well in France, I guess. It's my Gallic charm. You are a charming bastard. And my garlic breath. Yeah, no, you're, you're lovely. I'm not gay, but I'd do you. Actually, that probably makes me gay, doesn't it? I think so. Oh, well, to each his own. Yeah. Oh, no, that's back to the guy with the door, really, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. You, so, uh, oh. you can be my door frame anytime you want. <laughs> hey, uh, all right, let's do my organs then. Do you, ever go, uh, do you ever go back to Britain uh, much? Uh, I do occasionally, yeah. All right, well, here's five euros. Uh, knock yourself out. All right. Have you got a dollar? Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes you a movie star in my book, son. <laughs> there you are, American money. Give me Thank the five right. euros back. There you go. All right. Uh, all right. If you harmonica that... That's not really a verb, is it, harmonica? If you no. harmonicize that well, do I have to get to tuck this down the front of your pants? <laughs> I'll do many things for a dollar. <laughs> but blowing an organ for you ain't one of them. <laughs> All right, come on. Help yourself. It's brand new and fresh. Hasn't oh, been touched. Well, it has, but not by hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Here we go. Right, can you play this? I bet you can play it. Do we have to do? Yeah, oh, you won't sorry. be able to do that, because you'll be doing it. See, now look, you've... <laughs> oh, look, I got my dollar back. OK. Right. Ready? 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 OK. One, two, one, two, three, four. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. I've had a wonderful time. Moi aussi. That means me too. I know. I don't want to go. I can't get on that plane. You have to. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not on it, you'll regret it. Ah, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But, Craig... Look, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of two vulgar late-night entertainers don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. It's true. Hey, we'll always have Paris. <laughs> and... And a, a snake bug. Oh, thank you. It, now, it's... It's smaller than mine, and... You know why. When... I do... If I were a woman, I'd... Ah, don't say it. You know something, right? What is it? This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. 